an apparently strange sentence appears in the Midrash, written about 2,000 years ago. The sages say, the sun has a sheath. As it is said, the sun is inside a tent. Typically, what does a sheath do? It protects what is inside it. And the sages say that when the Holy One, blessed be he, takes the sun out of its sheath, the whole world heats up, an immense heat that reaches the nations of the world. Whenever people saw this sentence, they dismissed it entirely. What is the sun? Whoever saw a sheath for the sun? But the sages say, there is a verse, and we know that it is so. The entire Bible is divine revelation, and here we are talking about a verse in the Bible. A verse in the Bible means it is true. There is an astronomer from the British Royal Observatory, Dr. Vidal, and he writes in his book, The Heaven's Army, as follows. As is known, the sun is a giant ball of gas with a surface temperature of 6,000 degrees Celsius. Below its surface, gases boil at even higher temperatures. According to our calculations, the temperature rises more and more until it reaches 15 million degrees in the sun's core. This is a level of heat that we can hardly comprehend. Today, it is assumed that the sun's core is a nuclear furnace, releasing immense amounts of heat that slowly make their way outward. The intensity of the radiation decreases along the way until it reaches the outer layers of the sun's surface, which is only at 6,000 degrees. These high temperatures inside the sun cause the gases there to boil at immense scales and even create explosive waves that hit the outer gas layers of the sun with tremendous force. These outer layers absorb the heat radiation coming from the sun and also block the shocks caused by these waves. We call this the sheath. The astronomer from the British Royal Observatory uses the word sheath and he says, you don't see it, but there is a sheath for the sun which consists of gas layers. In fact, these layers that envelop the sun protect the earth from the sun's radiation. If the sun's heat reached the earth directly, it would burn everything and no life could exist here.